Hi everyone, it's Michael here with Wise Agent. I'm here to help you navigate your homepage. We made sure it has all the tools and features to help your workspace be the most optimal. This way you have a productive platform to work out of. Follow me as I walk you through our homepage. One of the first items you'll see on the homepage is your commission reports. The commission reports will show different types of sales and commissions that you are tracking, such as buyer, seller, and rental. The commission reports will display the total numbers regarding sales as well as a few graphs that will help you visualize the status of your transactions. The tile can be moved to any part of the homepage depending on where you'd like to see it. You can view sales by date range or by individual team member depending on your preferences. Below the commission reports, you'll find your Wise Agent calendar. The calendar will default to a month view which can be changed by clicking on the month option to the right of your calendar and then selecting from the different options under the drop down menu. If you're someone that likes to view your calendar day by day, you can select the day view option, which will break down your events by the specific time they were scheduled for that day. You can also change your view to a week list view, which will break down the calendar by the week you're currently working in. This will list your events as well as the time scheduled for those events. You can always go back to the month view by clicking on the week list and then selecting the month option. This little gear icon to the right of the options allows you to manually sync your Google Calendar. If you have already activated your Google Calendar Sync with WiseAgent and you need to push it to a manual sync, you would select the Sync option from the gear icon. From that same gear icon, you can also print out your WiseAgent calendar by selecting the Print option. You can also stack your events by clicking on the Stack Events option. This will minimize any events that you have for the day. You have the option to click the plus sign to see more events, or if you want them to be visible right away, you can just click Stack Events again and those events are now visible. The Show Borders option allows you to show borders around your calendar. If you were to click on the Show Borders again, it takes away those borders from the calendar. Over here to the left hand side, you'll see we have some calendar controls. From here, you have all the different stock calendars that you may have events for, such as your marketing calendar that's pulling from your drip campaigns. We have Canadian holidays, US holidays, and your hot list, which is all the critical dates coming from your transactions checklist. We also have anniversaries, birthdays, and home sale anniversaries pulling from your contact records and the events that you manually enter into your calendar will be listed as events. I can uncheck calendars that I don't want to see. So if you don't want to see manual events, you can just uncheck that as well as US holidays if you don't want to see them. Of course, you can check those back on if you'd like to see them back on your calendar. Keep in mind this will only save these options for this session. If you don't want to see your birthdays, home sale anniversaries, or specific holidays on your calendar, you'll need to change that in your settings by clicking this gear icon. On the settings page, your first option is calendar settings. You can change the default view to day, week, seven day, or month. From here, you can choose which events to display and whether or not to show holidays from the United States or Canada. Once you've made your selections, you will want to hit the save button to save your settings. Back to the calendar options, you're also able to edit the calendar's color. If you click on the edit icon, you can change any of the calendar event's colors. For a specific calendar, if you want to change your hot list color, you can click on the color red it's currently on and then select any other color to change it. Then just hit the save button to save your changes and then all of those critical dates on your calendar will change to the color that you selected. You can also do this for your team members and your team calendars. You're able to check the ones that you want to see and don't want to see. For example, if you don't want to see any of Ross's calendar events, you can just check the box next to his name. If you want to see them again, you can just check the box again. If you want to change Ross's color, click on the current color and then select any different color from the color grid. Make sure you hit the save option so the color stays. You're also able to organize the content that you have on your homepage. Down here, we have these four containers. You have your call list, which will show you the calls that you need to complete for the day, your task list, which will show you the tasks within your Wise Agent account, your recent leads, which are the most recent leads that have been added to your account, and your transaction hot list, which are all those active checklists that you'll be able to easily see from your homepage. You can change the orders of these containers, so if you wanted the recent leads before your task list, you could just click on the recent leads header and drag it over to the section that you want it to go. Once you've dragged it over, you can just release your cursor and now your call list and recent leads are together. Scrolling down, you have the important dates. These important dates will also appear on your homepage calendar, which we saw above. The important dates that are listed down here are for any birthdays, wedding anniversaries, and home sale anniversaries that have passed within the last few days or are coming up in the next few days. You can also move these important dates to the top of the homepage by clicking on the important dates header, grabbing it and scrolling all the way to the top of the page and releasing it above your calendar if that's where you would like it to go. 
Another important thing to keep in mind is that these four containers right here will always be in the same section. So of course you can move these around, but if you want these to go together on the top of your page or to the bottom of the page, all four items must go together. Back at the top is the drop down menu where you can change your inside team member view. By clicking on a specific team member's name, it would change the view to that team member. If you need any support with any of our Wise Agent features, our team is standing by to help you 24 7. Just use the Contact Us button in your account under the Help drop down. Thanks for watching.